opposite way. And then it's a dogger, your fusioning is. Like you can add more. You don't have to do it one coat, you can go back. Do it again. You will never do anything wrong with this. Is you will never like have to worry about if you're gonna be oh my god, you're gonna do it's not doing good. It's gonna go either way you are decide to do it. So never go wrong with that. How's everyone doing today? Happy Tuesday. Such a really great day. I was busy as well. Hi, Queen. I have been meaning to tell you for ages. Hi, Nuna. Thanks so much for tuning in. All right. So, if you want to be deeper, darker on the black, you can always add it more. Is the more because the fusioning is really like easy flow to work with also is really pigmented so then if you even like lay one um coat of it is already give you really good look so if you want a lot of more white and less marble in the black just do one coat or two that's it and then you can work with the um using your crystal clear and draw all of that and i'm gonna have a piece of paper right with me sorry I did it on this side right there so then I can clean my brush hello Nuna happy Tuesday princess hello hi princess Lindsay Kat and Lynn, hello how are you so just basically you wipe off most of your uh, crystal clear and basically just tap it on you can see that it's already create the veins nicely for you and it's sharp. Wipe off on that paper towel and then move on to the next one. You don't want that to be too much uh, runny because it might destroy your... However, if it accidentally like that, do not worry. You can always like add more uh, pigments from a fusionings to and then create it more so do not like panic or worry about if you'll get something is not right sometimes i did this really beautiful designs and then it's all sudden it just really like bleaching everything because i did too much of crystal clear which is totally fine we can always like edit more on it I don't really even need any brushes at all. Just the crystal clear brush. If you have another brush, which is like really pointed, like a 3D brush that you work with, that absolutely fine. But this one, you can just like need your crystal clear. So I am going to add some black gel painting and then gold gel painting and we start dress these nails up. We have four of them to dress. So I just want to show you how a different look the way you want to lay yours. Like you can do different directions of the marble is gonna give you a different look and then it looks really cool already but if you want to be really like precise and dress it up so either you have your um gel painting jet black or if you have um 
have what, the white one, I think. The gel painting, a black gel painting in the bottle is with the precision, uh, precision brush. This is work as well. I'm gonna use that. And then with my golden touch, it's one of my bestie for this. Okay, so now we are gonna draw some of the veins. I'm gonna draw all of them. And you can loosen when you draw this one. Just wiggle a little bit and give it like a natural look instead of just a straight line. Video got kind of dark. I can't still work it out. IG is very buggy. Is that better now? Thank you, Sarisa. You try maybe try to turn off your Wi-Fi, or if you are on Wi-Fi, then turn off the Wi-Fi. Or if you are not on Wi-Fi, then try to turn on Wi-Fi. In my end is good, but I could be wrong. Let me know if you still like all of you still seeing it like blurry. So you see that I didn't like go straight line. I just give it a little bit of wiggles and just give it um, to give it a soft look. And then flash key for 30 seconds. I'm gonna do a different one. Go to the next one. Is better now? Oh, you are very welcome. Thank you, Foxy. Go into the next one. I love this one as well. If you don't have one of like really fine uh, brush and like a twin tip brush, this is gonna be a great, perfect um, uh, alternative. Kind of see me just wiggle a little bit to so give it looks like more natural look instead of just straight line you can apply like this the same with any other colors of fusioning this is freaking so simple easy i love this before when i start playing with the marble look it's so difficult that how me controlling it i'm so happy that this fusioning is just so easy for me to do it. Even like if you are just beginning doing it, you can still able to achieve it. So I'm going to kill this one for 30 seconds and move into the next one. You can see that the marble looks every single nail is different. Um, it's really, really unless you do, you try to get matching them all. But then the best thing about how you do your uh, marble look, if they are like similar, but they are absolutely different. Give me one second. Here we go. Key for 30 seconds. Go into the next one. The second one, you can see. It just adds the, um, 
like have a black gel painting on it just make it looks more defined so if the clients love it and they want to just doing this fusioning so they don't want anything else then you after the key to see again you can absolutely put the top coat on here again but if the clients want a matte look then you put the matte top coat on and then you're good to go You see that how I'm just like wiggling my uh, hand to give it just like great. I'm gonna kill this one for thirty seconds as well. Hi, Sarah. How are you? Yes, it has so much fun. Thanks so much for sharing. Nuna, you did awesome job. I can't wait. Sarah, how are you? All right, this one is done. So now we're going to use it next. It's going to be a gel painting golden touch. And I am going to using a twin tip brush so you can see the thin bands. If you close it, you can see the thin band. It's going to take you right into the detail and the light brush. And the other end is going to be using it for the gel polish, you know, in the pot. Or you can use it for is crystal application for um, using condensed loose gels. This golden touch just in case you will ask for it and i don't know how long it's gonna take you to finish this pot this is freaking pot is like so awesome and full is a lot to do with it lasts you probably a long time so i'm gonna just like give it just wiggle a little bit i feel right into the black line sarah thanks so much for tuning in and you check Sarah tune in can you check so you doing okay Sarah so glad you tune in good to hear that you're doing better Oh, thanks so much, Sonia. Thank you, Nuna. Okay, so just a little bit. If you want more, you can edit more, but I still want to show you the black slide ends underneath. Just a little hint of it. Great. Cure. Now we're going to cure is for a 30 seconds. Flash cure. Go to the next one. I think that one is ready. So today's we are actually it's just I have all different contents for June Life 4 but I said it's gonna be what about fun so doing some like have um black and gold nails with the new fun stickers for all of you who is like still have a client that doing um is fun nails besides the holidays well they're doing it with the June Life 4 as well and some group of clients I have some clients they love to have like they celebrate the holiday as well, but they want the nails like after the June like four, so you don't have to stuck with it. So here for 60, uh, 30 seconds on this one. This nails is already done with 30 seconds here. I'm going to the third nails. Oh no, I just use just a little bit. I did this in the purpose of it, just like one drip of gold to give it more like a fun look. Just look. You can also do silver. If you're doing a sticker, like say 
with some stickers, font designers, and you can do with uh, silver, then using your black and silver.